people come into the shop and they say, Tom, should I go for a down jacket or should I go for a synthetic jacket? Uh, and the simple answer is, there isn't really a simple answer. It all depends what you plan to do with the jacket, what kind of conditions you might be in, how warm you want to be, whether it's more for protection and backup and emergencies, whether you're going to be using it regularly for bee laying, or if it's going to be maybe like a, a winter booster layer, as they say, that would go underneath your waterproof jacket for really Baltic days. Ultimately, down has a, highest warmth, has a higher warmth to weight ratio. However, it doesn't perform as well once it gets wet. Um, and that can have long-term consequences sometimes. However, there are uh, treated downs on the market now, such as the Nitquax Hydrophobic Down, which I know Rab uses. Uh, with uh, synthetic fabrics, such as Primaloft, you will get something that still retains an enormous amount of uh, heat that's leaving your body, even when it's completely soaking wet. So if you're looking to get wet or get damp, or, or, or whether that's gonna be a distinct possibility, it might be worth looking at Primaloft or other uh, Prima Loft or other synthetic fabrics. A good example for me is that uh, when I am doing Scottish winter climbing or when I'm instructing, and I, I suspect I might be getting damp at some point, then I tend to wear towards one of my synthetic jackets. However, when I was uh, skiing and ice climbing in Canada the other year, then it was minus 20 something and we were in down jackets. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching even me if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.